Welcome, son of a fola, man. Ready. Thunder with Ola 142. Oh, it came back. That never happens. Guys, welcome to Thunder with Ola 142. This, for me, this one feels a little bit special. I have a bunch of really cool news, but okay, I'm not going to tell you all the news at once because I know that you're sick of me talking about my shit. So, you know, I'm just going to take one piece of news right now. And what is that? Well, I have a new single. You might be hearing it throughout this Wola underneath, but if you didn't hear it, I released a single this past Friday, and uh, it's already up on Spotify and all that Apple Music, Deezer, and These Nuts, and you know all of those platforms, and also on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. I released a video back this past Friday. You can listen to it there. It's called "The First of Its Kind." Ha! Huh. And there's also another reason why I'm completely hyped up because right now, today, when I'm sitting here, which is first day. I mean, you're watching this on a Sunday, but. As I'm arriving here, it's first day, you know, I flew from Hamburg this morning, came to the airport and straight to the office to record the Sun with Ola. Yesterday, I saw Pantera in Hamburg. Hello. Cheers. And yes, I did record a vlog for this occasion, but I'm not going to show you anything of that just yet. Maybe it will be a vlog for next Sunday, okay? Because I'm not entirely sure how next Sunday is going to be. Is there going to be a swallow? Is there going to be a vlog? We'll just have to see. You're going to see something. You're going to see something. That's what I wanted to say. And even though, you know, I just came in here and barged in and recorded, you know, basically almost nailed that song, you know, and, you know, I, I got the TV up and running, the Edelchrone is running. I feel fucking good. There is no time to linger around the news. Okay, I'm ready. All right, so apparently PRS and Miles Kennedy have now released a Tele style PRS guitar. What? Look at that thing right there. Can we see more? You see these yellow dots down there? Those are ads in the video. That's a big no no. Don't do that, PRS. Don't do that. That's terrible. I hate getting ads in the middle of the video. But I saw there was ads in there, but I'm paying for YouTube Premium, so I'm not getting ads. Holy shit, it's nice. Okay, look at that. There it is. We came up with the idea of doing a push pull. So when the first position's engaged, if you pull it up, it's the equivalent of rolling the toe knob back about 50%. And then. Go to the fifth position, and now it disengages the tone knob, and it's wide open. It's a okay. Big, well, that that's a that's a you know personal preference thing, I would say probably. The guitar itself isn't anything we haven't seen before. Kennedy himself has been quite open about it in the past, and he's played it live numerous times. But it was never something guitar fans thought would become reality. All right, look at that thing right there. This is the white dog hair. Is it called dog hair? It is called dog hair. <laughs> okay, black dog hair. Blue Matteo, McCarthy Tobacco, Sunburst, and White Dog Hair. Okay, okay. How much? Both of these new models will retail for $28.99. For more information on the new models, visit PRS. So there you go. A little excitement from the PRS camp. 
And uh, this does not look like it's something that could be sewable. If you understand what I'm saying, then I think it looks okay, man. So there you go, some T-type from PRS. How about that? Slip not to celebrate. <laughs> 25th anniversary of debut album with special live shows in 2024. Dude, 25 years? Holy shit. Speaking about the schedule for 2024, right now Slipknot's kind of wrapping up a little bit. Next year, I know we are talking about doing a handful of shows all over the world because it's gonna be the 25th anniversary of the first album. Now, don't quote me on that. Best way to make God laugh is to announce your plans out loud. Dude, that's so correct. Don't speak about plans, man. They always go to shit if you do. You jinx it. Don't jinx it, man. And by reading this news, 25 f***ing years, man, since I saw Slipknot in Stockholm when they just released this album. That was 1999 or maybe they came in 2020. Who cares? 24 or 25 years ago? And you know, we're never gonna get back into those type of audiences. That was a small like club with 800 people and it was... You know, they were f***ing batshit insane on stage. They were hitting each other and, you know, they were jumping off the, the roofs and shit. And it was, it was such an awesome and invigorating show. I remember it to this day as being one of the most intense shows I've ever been to. Now, obviously, they don't run around and hit each other nowadays because they have, you know, they're happy and they're rich and they have families and, you know, and they're older and more mature. They don't go and punch everyone. You know, that doesn't make any sense nowadays. But back in the day, they were just spinning all over the place at each other in their mouths and, you know, punching each other and shit. Uh, and it was incredible to see. And to think that it's been almost 25 years since that happened, that makes me feel really old. So let's continue. Jackson's wild new Diablo 4 themed custom build is explicitly designed to both conjure darkness and crush your enemies and see them be driven before you. You know, like Arnold. Chilling 4 and rune custom inlays and hand painted lift a gram demon blood drip finish. This is one of the most eye catching custom creations we've seen from a major builder like this this year. All right, so Jackson trying to be cool. And whip out a little bit of that, you know, gamer nerd thing into the equation. You know what? That actually looks kind of like the Testament guitar, no? The Testament, you know, the Eric Peterson guitar with the pentagram and all that. Nightmare Machine. That's a pretty cringe name right there. But that's okay. The guitar is cool as hell. <laughs> for you guys who have been following me for a while, you guys know that I'm an early Diablo fan. I played number one and number two a lot back in the day. I played Diablo 2 so much, it almost, you know, made me quit uh, university. I did quit university, and maybe not only because of Diablo 2, but a little bit, maybe. <laughs> I must say, this looks pretty freaking sick right there. And just as a little side note, I actually bought Diablo 4, and I started playing it, like, oh, this, is, this looks great and all. But then, you know, less than two hours in, I was like, do I really want to do this right now? <laughs> it didn't really feel like a new game. It's just Diablo 3 with really good graphics. And I mean, fine, it is better and it's cooler and it's better looking and whatnot. But I, I just felt like, nah, not, not right now. So I refunded it. You know, that's my thing. I refund games because, you know, uh, initially I'm like really excited. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to play this game. I've done this with a lot of games in this past uh, year. Uh, <laughs> so I buy the game and then I immediately get like uh, buyer's remorse and I refund the games if it's on Steam. And this was the first time I refunded uh, at Blizzard. But maybe, you know, in the future, if I feel like, okay, I want to sit down and do a little brain dead uh, grinding, I'll get it again, okay? This guitar though, uh, I would love to have one of these. Tosin Abasi is an incredible guitar player and he's saying, I hadn't heard such clarity and definition before. Tosin Abasi overhauls its backline with new stereo tube amp rig. Oh shit, he's going from, what he was using fractals before, right? <sighs> Has switched to bad cat amplifiers for his tour with Dream Theater and Devin Townsend. So he's using the new bad cat links. They look like this. As a matter of fact, why I brought up this news is because I just demoed this amplifier. It's not up on the channel yet, but it will probably be up on the channel this week. Truth be told, it's one of the few amplifiers in a good while that made me incredibly excited. So that's why I'm bringing up this news right here. I don't think that Tosin is lying when he's saying I hadn't heard such clarity and definition before because I tried it and I know it as well. He's speaking the truth. So that demo, you have to look forward to that. That's coming this week, okay? Extremely excited about about that. I can't even... What are my hands doing even? Tosin is on tour right now with Dream Theater and Devin Townsend in the US. And this amplifier right here, it was so good. I bought the one that 
you know, that, that I was demoing. It was so good. I usually just send shit back because I want to stay, uh, you know, unbiased, unsponsored. But I really enjoyed this amplifier. I bought one for myself. So there you go. Metallica calls out fan being a dick. <laughs> oh, 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 my hip. I can't laugh anymore, man. I'm an old man. Shit, I can't even laugh, my hip hurts. Metallica calls out fan being a dick about bagpipes cover. Okay, what's that? Look at this beautiful lady and her bagpipes. And look at James Hatfield going like, ooh, it's really good. Gatekeeping online is one thing, but saying that a band wouldn't approve of a cover is just plain dumb. Bagpiper Ali Crowley Duncan or Ali the Piper posted a handful of Metallica songs and one commenter felt that James Hatfield wouldn't approve. So let's check out the video. Oh shit. Fade to black, baby. Is she using distortion with this? It sounds like it. So user EBDBD <laughs> is uh, 08. Maybe it was born 08, man. Uh, so a very young person. Bagpipes don't belong in Metallica. James would not approve. Metallica responds. This guy doesn't speak on our behalf. You're awesome. So that's cool. Metallica are on social media, and they do read and respond some shit. It's probably some social media person, but who cares anyway? It's cool that they're speaking up against the trolls and the gatekeepers, okay? All right, looks like Vince Neil mined at least one song at Metal Crew's Hellfest performance. Okay, you know, this is something that has been talked about a lot that Vince Neil has been using, you know, backing tracks live, and uh, is he using backing tracks live or not? Has there been any proof of this? I. I don't even remember. It's I've heard about this rumor so much. I, I just stopped caring, I guess. Okay, so look no further than S Zero 35 and beyond in the above video. There are vocal lines that are finishing without the microphone being anywhere near vocalist Vince Neil's face. The word down and the phrase break us down in particular egregious and it's not an isolated incident either. You'll see it happen a few times throughout the video. Okay, let's watch. It's running off. You know what? It might actually be that they're using like a, you know, an extra track of vocals for the chorus. They probably have a dubbing track that they kind of, you know, level out with the real vocals. Because at some of the other parts, it does sound real because it doesn't sound perfect. But who am I to decide? I guess it's up to the internet <laughs> to decide. So there you go. The news. Holy shit, I almost forgot about my news that, uh, you know, I didn't want to bring up in the beginning because, you know, it's, it, people are... Sh and sick and tired of my, my news and my, you know, me pushing myself. But I have a new guitar from SolarGuitars.com, you know, the brand that I'm a part of. The news is this. Take a look at this. This is my new X1.6 Ola guitar right there. And as you might know, ugh, when you get hair in your mouth, is that, you know, I, can't, I think it's kind of cheesy of doing uh, signature gear. But uh, at the same time, it's kind of cool having something like this. You know, this is a, this is a test right here. We did one with the uh, Type D back in the day and uh, made it limited. And uh, that was kind of cool. And, you know, the X, man, that's my new favorite shape. I want to have an Ola guitar in that shape. So there you go. Look at that. It's like mixed gloss with brushed. So this right here is uh, it's, it's brushed satin right there. It's a friggin' war machine this guitar right here. And it's limited edition from SolarGuitars.com. And uh, I think it's fun, man. You have a little cool project like this. I'm going to use this live when we have uh, our show with The Haunted later this year. Very, very stoked about this. So there you go. That was the news. Thank you. So summer has uh, officially started now. My kids are on uh, vacation and uh, I'm working a little bit every day. 
And obviously you have to get the dog out to let her have her fun. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that next week there won't be a Swola. Um, I'm uh, gonna be on vacation, but you are getting a vlog from uh, when I went to watch Pantera in Hamburg. So at least that's something, you know. And I'm not sure how it's gonna be in the coming week after that, if there's gonna be a swole up, but this coming week I'm going abroad with my kids. And I might do a vlog of that. We'll just have to see how the next swole will be. And uh, other than that, I think I will be, uh, you know, be able to do a swole every week. So I think we'll be fine. It's just this one time. That's just my guess. We'll just see how it goes, okay? All right, let me show you how good my dog is. Give me a second. All right. How do we do the pigs? Pigs, hi. Oh, good dog. Good dog. Bra jobbat. Loss. All right. Ja, det är bra. Ja, det är bra. Duktig tjej. Duktig tjej. She's really good at fetch. It's also really hot. Ja, det är varmt va? Album tips of the day. Well, it's actually not an album. It's two singles from the band Knocked Loose. Maybe I haven't talked too much about this band because they're venturing a lot into like core and, and is it deaf core or is it male core, meta core. I, I'm just not really good with the uh, with the subgenres and all that. You know, if I like it, I like it. Okay, but I listen to these new singles from Knocked Loose. You know what I really dig about these two singles? They're basically being incredibly ignorant. It's like they don't give a shit, you know? And that's so fucking cool. I mean, obviously I mean that as a compliment. It's like this is just brutal as hell. And there's like, there's no rhyme or reasons with these songs. <laughs> it's like, where's the chorus? Where's the breakdown? Well, there's like 50 breakdowns in there, <laughs> you know? I was plowing through these two songs when I was going to watch the Pantera show yesterday and mm, mm, mm. Really good, man. I highly recommend you checking it out. Knock loose, baby, upon lost singles. Huh? Great. Sunday with Ola testing stuff that needs to be tested because I don't have enough time to test it on my regular channel. So I'm testing right now. I'm just making a quick test and I'm just going to put it up on Swola, but I'm also going to put it on my second channel. Kind of deal. No, but have you noticed how many plugins are being released nowadays? Hiya. <laughs> it's too many, man. It's too many to keep up, at least. Well, one of those plugins that I've really been looking forward to hearing more from is Amp Room from Softube. And since I am Ola England the Swede, I'm gonna load up the Metal Suite first and foremost. Check this out. You have a bunch of presets already. Let me just load one real quick. Uh, scoop. <laughs> That is indeed very scooped. Okay, so uh, just like any other plugins, you have the amplifier phase, you have, you know, a, a pre section with all the distortions and overdrives and all that. You have a cabinet section, a post EQ, and, you know, bullshit. Then we have this, which I guess is just like a post EQ. <laughs> All right, let's remove that scoop thing right there. All right, sounds pretty good. Let's check out the studio real quick. So this 
you know, is if you if you're if you're, if you're, if you're familiar with SoftTube and Amproom, this is what where you used to. Basically, you can you know switch shit out and move shit. Uh, you can. I don't know what happened, but let's start over. <laughs> Basically here, you can move shit all around and about and s replace modules and shit. Basically giving you full customization of your rig. I'm just gonna try out some of the presets. Clean Lush. All right. Very cool. Next. <laughs> And then you can switch out the different amplifiers like this. Check this out. Uh, what, what, it's the JCM right there. We have a Plexi. We have a JMP. Dude, JMP. Let's crank it, baby. Okay, we have a sort of like a rat. Ooh, governor right there. But let me let me try something else. Let's try this. The. Uh all right, we're getting somewhere. And then the Marshall cabinets. One of my favorite microphones, uh, by the way, the M160. All right, let's see what's happening over here. I, okay, we have a little bit of a post EQ happening right there. And what is this? Soft tube room IR. Okay. Is this on? Oh. Oh, careful. That's pretty cool if you want to have, you know, a room sounding type of tone. Just to get some sort of air around it, okay? Very cool. Okay, but, you know, old Langland the Swede, I got to load in my own impulse response because that's just, you know, that's just how I work. How do I do this? Load IR. <laughs> Turning off the post EQ. This is a compressor right there. Yeah, man, that sounds good. You know what I really like about the plugin and the tone you're getting from the amp room is that uh, it sounds way more airy. You know, it's really tough to explain, but it sounds like you know the microphone sounds like a microphone that hasn't been post equalized. You know, or like no one has added any EQ to it. This is what it sounds like when you put a microphone on a cabinet right there. Like even with the M160 that is one of my favorite microphones, you know, I can hear the character. That is the character of the real M160. So there you go, that's my little demo of the amp room from SoftTube. I think the concept is really cool and it feels like there's so much to this plugin that you can dial in. You can sit with this for days and days and just dial in your tone. But I think SoftTube has a little bit of catching up to the other plugins or plugin manufacturers when it comes to the amplifiers. I would love to see more amplifiers, uh, some more variation in amplifiers at least. But I think this is the beginning of something really beautiful from SoftTube. So there you go, my little thing for you right there. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. All right, my friends, that was it for Sunday with Ola for today. I really appreciate you joining in today. Also, if you want to listen to my new single, the first of its kind, you can 
find links to that up here. Also, if you want to have this beautiful thing right here, the XC 1.6 Ola guitar right there, you can get that from solarguitars.com. We're still on the summer sale as well on the website. So you can still get like a really good deal on a guitar this summer up until 16th of July. And uh, yeah, man, who won the t-shirt? Huh? We've been doing that for a while now. It's pretty cool. Also, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to be next Sunday. This coming week, I will be on vacation with my kids and we're just going to see if there's not going to be a Sunday with Ola, there's going to be the Pantera vlog. Okay, so, so does that sound fair? Okay, good talk guys. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day. See you soon. Okay, goodbye.